Tonight, dozens of people in Claremore gathered in honor of the nearly 10-foot alligator that was found in Claremore Lake. Department of Wildlife Conservation euthanized it about two weeks ago. News Channel 8's Lily Cummings has community reaction. Rumors have circulated for decades about alligators in Claremore Lake. I have heard the rumors since I was about five years old. We weren't sure if the vigil, which featured music, t-shirts, and a croc contest, was supposed to be silly or somber. What's the tone of the event? All of the above. It was also unclear to the food truck dishing up gator pizza. We didn't know what kind of event this was. We're here for the gator. The people wanted gator and the people are getting gator. It kicked off with a moment of silence for the reptile who was affectionately named in a community Facebook poll, silence Albert Edward Gator. Mr. Al E. Gator. This balloon creature was made to stand at nine foot six inches tall, the size of the gator that was euthanized. It was the only solution that, that kept our officer safe and also kept the public safe. Uh, relocating this, this animal wasn't um, an option due to the size. The Department of Wildlife says that and the location makes them believe humans were involved with putting it in the lake. Claremore's hundreds of miles outside of their natural range in Oklahoma. Some were understanding of the decision to euthanize. Because you really never know how one will react. While others, such as event organizer Jackson Savage, say they should have let the gator be. We thought, well, that's no ending. We can't have that be the ending. In fact, they believe this is the start of an annual gator fest. If there was one in here, there can be more. And we believe that it migrated north. For now, it remains a mystery of how it got here. And of course, it's not goodbye. It's see you later, alligator. In Claremore, Lily Cummings, News Channel 8. I'm Chief Meteorologist Dan Threlkel. Get more News Channel 8 great content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And be sure to download the K2O weather app for breaking weather alerts.